Guys, happy Friday! It is 4.38 a.m. We're getting set up out here on the ramp. <laughs> I'm getting used to this though. I think I like this early shift. Because when I get home though, it'll be just about like 12.30. And I kind of like that. But at the same time, what I don't like is that I have to be down at least by seven to get my full rest. I, I don't really like that part because it's still like daylight and I'm in the bed trying to sleep. That's the crazy part. This is why I prefer like a hard sided bag over the cloth ones. Because if it was raining right now and we had to run inside to take cover, girl, your bag will be soaked. So if you could, I would always invest in the hard sided bags. Now in the event that it falls off a cart or whatever the case, yes, it's gonna look ugly. It might get crushed, but your things are safer and they stay dry. Guys, see what I mean? Because what if it was raining right now? This is an uncovered cart. The people with the cloth bags, their stuff is like soaked. All your stuff in your bag is soaking wet. Hard-sided bags are the way to go. It's Saturday! Now it is Saturday, July 1st. This is crazy. We're already like in the second half of the year. But y'all, I didn't get off work till 4 p.m. yesterday. So I worked from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yesterday was cray cray to say the least. Everything that could go wrong went wrong yesterday. It was bananas. I wish I would have had time to vlog it girl with things just go awry like that there's no way i can just start vlogging but right now girl this weather is a mess i'm headed in to work right now for a few hours i had to stop and get the agent some bottles of water because of we're on the because of the fact that we're under like this high heat warning for the area but hell it is pouring down right now and i'm pretty sure this is the only water right now that they worry about and they trying to stay away from it. But not only as I got them some water, get them through half the week, they got three cases. I should have got four, but I can only pick up 
three. By the time I picked the third one up and put it in my cart, girl, I was tired. The water back there. I got three 40 packs of water. OMGG. We got princess parking today. No parking in the rain. Now we gotta figure out how to get this water inside the building. I am in Lowe's picking up a few items for a project even though I can just call the people to come fix it I'd rather do it myself because I just don't like people in my personal space good morning happy Monday I've been up for a minute but Walmart once again put um, a damper in my plans my groceries were supposed to arrive at 9 38 I literally got a text saying to expect my groceries at 9.38. But they were supposed to be delivered between 9 a.m. and 10. 9.38 would have been absolutely perfect. Um, Yeah, they're just now arriving. The driver is pulling away now, so they're outside. I'm about to go pick those up, bring those in. I got to run by the main office to this place. Well, no, I probably need to go to the maintenance side because I need to drop off a drawer. Girl, one of my drawers came off track. It's forever coming off track. And when I was trying to put it back, I snatched the whole front veneer off the drawer. Um, so I'm going to take this over there, get them to repair it, maybe drop it back off whenever it's done. I'm not in a rush for it. I mean, who cares if I'm just missing a drawer in the kitchen? I don't really care. Um... What else? I have a couple of reviews to record. Oh, let me show you this new bag. I got a new bag on Friday. Now, this is one you've seen before on my channel. I even featured it about six, seven vlogs ago, and I posted it for sale because, like I said, this bag was just existing in my collection. I never carried it, but I immediately regretted it after selling it. So I had an opportunity to pick a new bag, and I got it again. So I'll be reviewing this one and dropping the tea on Instagram, how I normally do with all my bags. So I'll probably record that video in a little bit, but first I'm gonna go drop. Well, now I'm gonna get my groceries from outside. Then take this drawer and see what they can do with it. They got real handyman over there. They can do this in a couple of days. I mean, not even a couple of days, just like a couple of hours. It won't even take a couple of hours. What am I saying? It's just a veneer that goes on the front of the drawer. You just need some finishing nails. Maybe even a little glue. And I tried it myself, but I said, you know what? I'm not gonna be big dog today. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a soft day. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do any hard laboring today. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna save myself. I'm not gonna fix it. I'm gonna let them do it. Because that's why I pay, you know. All this money to live here. They need to fix it. They need to repair it. You just need to bring it back to me. Period. Because when I tried, I guess I was holding the hammer a little too tight. 
girl, I pulled the skin off of my finger and I didn't even realize I had done it until I went to wash my hands and I looked back, my little skin was folded back on my finger. <laughs> it's always something with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over there now. I better get it on over there because I don't know what, how they take breaks or lunch or none of that. So I never really fool with them. They really don't even have access to my to my unit. So that's why I'm dropping it off. I don't like people in my personal, in my personal space. I just don't. And plus they couldn't get in here if they wanted to because I changed my lock to that new um, digital lock that I absolutely love. I think they're gonna be on sale during Amazon Prime Day. So I'll have it linked down below so you could just add it to your cart just in case you're interested. It's just real cool. Um, you don't need a key. You can just punch in a code or use your thumbprint to open your door. And it did come with little scan cards too if you just wanna scan in. It's real nice, I like it. But yeah, let me go ahead and bring my food. The dude that dropped my shit off was a smoker. I smell smoke across my bags. I don't like that. Why? You was late doing the most and smoking cigarettes and I love these ciabatta rolls. Last week it was croissants. This week is ciabatta. Then probably today I need to meal prep again. Um, yeah, he been out riding good, good because these aren't as frozen as the time when I bought them. So I got the asparagus again, and I'm trying sweet potato cubes this time. All right, let's get us a little breakfast going. I am starving. These are so good to me. They're kind of pre-cut, but you still got to help them out a little bit. No, never mind. Well, no, we're in a hurry. We didn't do all that, so I should make me an egg real quick. to put on this, but I'm not. We're not gonna do all that, but I would love to do all that. But we need to get up here to this office and not give them time to, to play around. Y'all think I'm here to play around with y'all. I'm not. We ain't gonna give them time to go get no lunch. some cheese some white american put that back oh you know what my avocado is ready 
Nice and soft. Nice and soft. And this is pre-cooked bacon, by the way. Don't play me. Pre-cooked. Then you put it in the oven. And the toaster oven for 10 minutes. It is going to be bomb. Avocado from Mexico. Whoop. So this is my problem, you know. I know about all the good foods. I wish I didn't. I like it when I get when it gets super soft to where I can just like use it as a spread. So yummy, but chopping it thin, slicing it rather, works for me too. Yum, yum, yummers. Girl, the way I'm feeling right now, we might just not do anything today. Cooking meal prep. Show y'all this bag again so you get a good look at it. Y'all will get the review before the review. Though I'll probably already have the reel up by the end of the day. That's just how I roll. All right, that's enough. Avocado, avocado. Look how pretty it is. You always have to let your avocado sit for a few days. Because I bought this last Monday with my last grocery order. Look, put the top back on it. I'm going to put this in a baggie. Now we're going to put it in a toaster oven. All right, so this is my air fryer that has all the functions. So we have it on toaster oven right now. So we're going to let it do its thing. Let it get nice and warm and toasty. Cheese all melty, bacon all crisp, and then we'll eat. But meanwhile, I'm gonna take this drawer up here to this office. So to make me a drink real quick, I don't know, do I want an iced coffee? But I do have a fresh almond milk. Do I want a matcha? Do I want a matcha? Do I want a matcha? I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do coffee for now. Cause matcha, you have to do a, a few extra steps that I'm really not willing to do right now. We don't want to do all that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up, grab a cup, and then we'll be back to pour us up some ice coffee. So y'all already know, these are the cups I use. I picked these up from Amazon. I've showed you these before. You get the cups and the lids. It's like a 50 pack for a few bucks. So I'm going to put some ice in my cup and we're going to go ahead and get started many sleeves. We gotta leave room for our cream, for our cream. I like to use Italian sweet cream. Oh, let's shake this. Still wanted to taste like coffee. All right, yes, it looks yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, it's perfect. Sweet, but it's perfect. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's it right there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, we got four minutes left on the sandwich. I usually put, make my own cold foam or whipped cream and then stick the lid on. Or I could do my cinnamon and cocoa mix on top. Just sprinkle it on. I tell you, I am my very own barista at home. I can make almost any coffee drink. Yeah, this is it. I even have these little craft papers that go around it. They come with the uh, with certain cups that you buy. You can just order those. And I do have a surplus of the Starbucks ones too. You can even order these on Amazon as well. But all of that was in that drawer that I'm going to take my coffee and tea drawer. Let me hurry up so I can take my stuff over here. All right, so my sandwich is nice and warm and toasty. Oh, it's hot. Oh, we. Yes, love this. Love this for me. All right, but we're going to pack this up to go, though. gonna eat this in the car even though we're not going far oh my avocado mm. let's just take it with us i like these little sandwich bags they're so cute it gives you coffee shop vibes we didn't spend no money. We made it all at home. We didn't stop at Starbies. They do come with cute little stickers too. Like if you're making lunch or something for someone else. They hold chips and all of that. Pretty cool too. Fold it over and then stick the cute little sticker on the back. Like I said, they're in the box. I don't ever really use the stickers because I'm always in rolling lunch mode. I bet I ate my food in the car. Don't don't close mine up for me. But it does come with the little stickers right there. Like these a lot. Okay. This is why I can never really just stay on task. I'm always doing the most. Um, I had to go ahead and take a bite. It is so good. Best breakfast ever. The cheese is melty. Oh my God, it's so hot. We're in the car, I'm gonna go take this mess up here. And yeah, we'll be right back. But tomorrow's the holiday, today is the third. Why is, why is this place closed? I don't understand. So they get the third and they get the whole entire weekend and two extra days. I need this job. Hey, there's somebody walking up. Cause you know I ain't get out the car yet. Unless you reading the sign. But she twist that doorknob. I'm running on in there. Let's see what she come up with. Oh, and it's open. Oh my God, it's open. They just sitting up in there in the dark and there ain't no cars out here. Yes, let me go on in here before. That line get long. 
Y'all, I am without a drawer. That was my coffee and tea set up. Drawer, so maybe they'll get it done today, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm pretty sure they won't. But all that stuff, yes, yeah, like coffee, tea, matcha, um, dietary teas, sleepy teas, like all of that was in that drawer. All right, I'm going to start cooking. I don't know if I want to put this in the oven or put these wingettes on the grill. We might just do the grill today. But I have them sitting in Dale sauce right now. I'm just putting my gloves on so I can go ahead and give them a good seasoning and stir it up and then let it sit and marinate for a little bit. I'm using my Tony's Creole. This is a lot of chicken in here. This chicken has been washed. I wash my meat before I season. You know, they say you don't have to, but you over here. We wash the chicken. All right. The chicken is clean. And you can season yours to taste, whatever you like to season with. This is just, you know, what I like. like flavorful foods. Smells so good. Let me know down below in the comments area what seasonings you like to use. So I might add in some new things to my seasoning arsenal. I want to try that adobo that everybody's using. I've, I've never cooked with it before. I want to try it. All right, so I'm done with the seasoning for now. Now I'm on to my sides. I'm trying to figure out what all I'm gonna make today. I'm thinking some yams, Jiffy cornbread mix, my way, and broccoli perhaps. Still keeping it cute, keeping it healthy. Spray down my counter spaces because I'm getting ready to chop my yams here. All right, we're gonna start with skinning our sweet potato. Then once we have it skinned, we're gonna cut it up. So I got my sweet potatoes cut up and go ahead and give them a rinse and then get them ready for the oven. Y'all, it started raining outside. But that doesn't matter. It's not going to stop our show. We're still going to fire up this grill, though. We are still going to fire it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my candy-coated brown sugar concoction ready for the sliced sweet potatoes all right we're gonna melt down our butter add our brown sugar i'm using light brown sugar but you can use regular or light doesn't matter i don't measure i just do
All right, so we're gonna add in nutmeg and cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good after adding the nutmeg and the cinnamon. OMGG. And some vanilla. Next, we're gonna pour in some heavy whipping cream. Make it creamy and yummy. Right now, we're gonna pour the mixture over the yams. All right, we're gonna put these in the oven for an hour. All right, yams in the oven. Y'all, I, I can't even lie. These are so good. OMGG. Girl, you definitely got to try this. All right, so I ended up baking the wings. Don't they look yummy? So yummy. All right, the cornbread is golden brown. OMGG. Girl, wish you were here. Food's ready. OMGG. I'm telling you, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because you can learn some things over here. <laughs> this is good eating. Girl, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I can't wait. I gotta go. Yoshi.